versus battle. Fighter number one, Goku Variation 7. And we're gonna call this one Ginyu Goku. After arriving on Namek after a lengthy period in space, after gaining new unshown levels of power and strength, he goes against Captain Ginyu. The leader and strongest member of the Ginyu Force, it's time for Goku to show the extent of his 100 times gravity training in space by powering up using the Kaioken. He raises his energy to astronomical heights and shows us the extent of his true hidden power. Fighter number two, Captain Ginyu, Variation 5. We're also going to call this one Goku Ginyu. After arriving on Namek at the request of Frieza to help him gain the Dragon Ball so he can wish for immortality, Captain Ginyu, the leader of the Ginyu Force, fights off against Goku in Kaioken, showing us his astronomical hidden power, severely damaging himself with a massive strike to the chest. He then trains body with Goku with his signature body change technique so that he can gain his level of strength and power and leave him with a damaged, broken body. He successfully pulls his move off, turning the tables on planet Namek and the fight for the Dragon Balls. Are you ready for the fight? Goku Variation 7 versus Captain Ginyu Variation 5, or we're going to call it Ginyu Goku versus Goku Ginyu. Round 1, Stat Points. The stat round will test the health key and stamina of each of the combatants. They will gain or lose points equal to half of a bar extra over two full bars of health or five bars of key or stamina that they have. My Freezer Ace character has two and a half extra bars of health, four of key and four of stamina, giving him ten and a half total points. How good are Ginyu Goku's stats? Let's find out. Health plus 2, key plus 0, and stamina plus 0.5, giving him 2.5 total points. How good are Goku Ginyu stats? Let's find out. Health plus 2, key plus 0.5, and stamina plus 1.5, giving him 4 total points. Round 2 Damage per second. In this round, we will measure the time between the first and last spark of each of the three main combos, the heavy, light, and mixed combinations, in conjunction with their damage to find out their damage per second. Starting things off is Goku in Ginyu's body using Ginyu's full light combo chain for some reason. Next is his full heavy combo chain. And finally, his full mixed combo is heavy, light, heavy, light, heavy. The times have been recorded and the damage is set. Let's find out Ginyu Goku's damage per second against Goku Ginyu. This will not be confusing, I promise. Against Goku Ginyu, Ginyu Goku has a DPS of 1142. Now let's go into Captain Ginyu in Goku's body using Goku's full light combo chain. It's a little confusing, I'll grant you. Next is his full heavy combo chain, which is really Goku's, but with Captain Ginyu. And finally, his full mixed combo chain is heavy light, heavy light, heavy. The times have been recorded and the damage is set. Let's find out Goku Ginyu's damage per second against Ginyu Goku. Against Ginyu Goku, Goku Ginyu has a DPS of 991. Round 3, Super Moves. Starting things off with Goku in Ginyu's body with Energy Charge, the slowest energy charging move in the game. Marvelous. Next is Meteor Crash. This isn't in that really a Meteor Crash, but it's kind of similar, so I'll put it in. Next is Kamehameha, Goku's signature move he learned from Master Roshi in Dragon Ball. Next is Solar Flare to blind the opponent at the expense of two key bars. Next is Full Power Energy Blast Volley. It's not generic, don't hate. This is super original. And finally, his evasive is Turn Retreat. How good are Ginyu Goku's supers? Let's find out. His total super damage output is 11,487. His damage per key bar is 2,297. His evasive doesn't do any damage. He has no utility skill. 
he has a regen skill in energy charge, he has a blindness skill in solar flare, he has no protection skill, and he has no awoken skill. Eh, kinda good, kinda not good, we'll see how it goes. Next is Captain Ginyu with Fighting Pose F to deplete your stamina instead of your health. Next is Sledgehammer, a move that smashes the enemy into the ground great after a stamina break. Next is Milky Cannon, a move used in the anime before the body change to surprise Goku, which you almost call him in, which fires a massive key blast towards the enemy. Next is Consecutive Energy Blast, a little bit generic there. His signature ultimate move, Body Change, to switch your body with the opponent. If you body switch these particular characters, you'll get Goku with a Scouter with Goku's combo chain and Ginyu Supers, which is pretty interesting. And finally, his evasive is Break Strike, because, you know, he's evil and all that kind of stuff. How good are Goku Ginyu Supers? Let's find out. His total super damage output, 7,721, not great. His damage per key bar is 2,574. His evasive doesn't really do any damage. He has a utility skill in his fighting pose. He has no regen skill. He has no blindness skill. He has no protection skills. And he has no awoken skill. So, you know, not a diverse moveset there. And it's time for the results. Who will win this weird, strange carnival matchup? Round 1 stats goes to Captain Ginyu in Goku's body. Round 2 damage per second goes to Goku in Ginyu's body. And finally, round 3, the super round, goes to Goku in Ginyu's body. Well done if you kept up this entire time, it's a little confusing. In the anime and manga, this seemed like a turning point in the Namek saga where Ginyu was definitely going to get the upper hand. But it turns out that Ginyu's lack of experience of knowing how to use Goku's body to the fullest, and as such was unable to use the extent of Goku's full power, allowing him to only use a fraction, and he got completely pounded into the floor by Gohan and Krillin. After this humiliation, Vegeta seizes his opportunity and delivers one of the most savage beatdowns in this anime series history, with no mercy and loving every second. The winner is Goku. Vegeta! No! You didn't have to take it that far! The Namek arc is coming to a close, and we have one more versus battle to go over. Jace has met his end at a devastating defeat at the hand of Vegeta, Prince of all Saiyans. Spare me! I beg you! Captain Ginyu accidentally body changed with a frog thrown by Goku and now he is absolutely no threat to the Z-Warriors. After many power-ups and different battles, Freezer is about to kill Vegeta, Prince of all Saiyans, just as Goku is speeding towards them after recovering from his injuries after the Ginyu Force battles. Now it is time for the final confrontation on Planet Namek, one of the most anticipated and highly recognized fights in anime history as well as Dragon Ball history. It is time for Goku, the low-class Saiyan sent to Earth against Frieza, the gifted Emperor of the Universe. Next on Axonius Rex is Goku vs. 100% Frieza.